and here's Whittingham. It's a great run. Oh, it's a brilliant run. Goodness me, that was so unlucky. Lane and now right. And a nice ball forward to Oboado. And a good save to deny Oboado from Blees. Well, it was simplicity, but devastating. All the London clubs, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal, West Ham, Crystal Palace. The City looked for the opening goal and it might arrive and it almost did for O'Reilly. And O'Kiki got the shot away. City putting Blackburn under enormous pressure, O'Reilly! Oh, goodness. O'Reilly, down to Maskell, right, good play from City. O'Reilly, it's good play again, and the shot is thundered into the back of the net. Wonderful finish from Ashton Muir. Well, that is a wonderful goal. It started all the way at the back, really. So many City players involved, the possession was terrific. You can count the passes, really. There must have been about 15 or 20. And they moved it from the left to the right, and it was helped into the area by right. O'Reilly poking it through. And a thunderous strike from Ashton Muir. And it is City 1, Blackburn Rovers 0. And it is little more than the Blues have deserved. They've been the better side, they've been dominant. They've been creating all the chances in the game. And Ashton Muir has given City a deserved lead. Now here they come again with right. Dangerous ball in, and it's nearly two. And Dada Maskell, and it is two. Well, it was a deflection on the shot from Dada Maskell. It'll be his goal, and if it is, it's his second in successive weeks. I wonder, uh, from the celebration, whether it might go down as an own goal, but either way, City lead by two to nil. Dada Maskell scored with a wonderful thunderous header last week. Let's have a look at it again. It comes all the way through. The shot is blocked and then Dada Maskell hits it. I think it might come off a Blackburn defender and go into the net, but I'm sure Dada Maskell will say it's his. And who would take it off him? That was a good back heel by Muir. Brings in Harrison. Harrison's got to the byline as well. For Boadou, just wide. And Sangu. This is encouraging for Blackburn, but uh, oh, they might score, you know. And Sangu. It fell to the man they would like to have had the chance. Harrison. Now Muir. Harrison there to support. Up towards O'Reilly, Oboado. It's gone in. <laughs> it didn't seem to have the power to. But all of a sudden, it nestled in the back of the net. Oboado with a header that just eludes the goalkeeper. And City lead by three goals to nil. And it was a strange old finish, wasn't it? Didn't seem to have the power to get beyond the goalkeeper, but it just broke for him. I don't think he knew much about it. It was hit at him rather than him attacking it. But anyway, it's 3-0 to City, and Justin Oboado has now got 10 goals for the season. And City surely have got three points. Indeed, the only goal they've conceded in the last six games was a penalty. Now, here's Alpha Ruprecht looking to make an immediate impact, and he has done. He sets up Alfie Harrison, and City have got a fourth goal. Alfie Harrison's seventh of the season, he's fifth in Premier League North. And the Blues have a 4 0 lead now. An instant impact from Alpha Ruprecht down the right-hand side. 
and turned in by Alfie Harrison, who, like all good central midfielders, had made the run into the area just in case. And his run was rewarded. Header away by Elaine Harrison. Helped on towards Alpha Ruprecht. Goes for one himself. And Blees makes the save. The first time they've scored four away from home, and they might be getting five as O'Reilly is on to it. Hit by Dada Maskell and saved by Blees. Taylor. Oh, that was absolutely magnificent. I'll tell you what, if this ends in a goal, it'll be one of the goals of the season, and O'Reilly might well finish it off, and he has. That is a fantastic goal. Kane Taylor with an absolutely mesmeric run. And then he had the awareness to slip it through to O'Reilly, and O'Reilly sweeps it into the corner of the net. That is a truly magnificent goal. Just look at this from Kane Taylor. It's just joyous on the eye. He's away from two challenges, and then he finds the through ball to O'Reilly, and O'Reilly has the finish at the end of it. Everything you could wish to admire from any team full of confidence. And that description is befitting the league leaders of under-18 Premier League North. If the Blues want a sixth goal, you feel it's there for the taking. Here's Gray, just above Alpha Ruprecht. Right hits it. it wasn't far wide, was it? So free kick to Blackburn. And the header goes over the bar. Can City repel this free kick? Yes, they can. And that's how the match concludes. The Blues once again demonstrating why they are the top team in the under-18 Premier League North. Five goals for the second weekend in a row. Ashton Muir with the first, Isaiah Dardamaskal with the second. Then Justin Oboado made it three, Alfie Harrison four, and Nico O'Reilly with the fifth. And you have to say, there was so much to admire. The control, the movement, the dexterity, the craft and guile. It was all on display. And yet again, the Blues have proven too strong. And they've extended their lead at the top of the under-18 Premier League North table to 10 points above second-placed Sunderland.